The following video is a presentation of the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau of the U.S. Department of the Treasury. Let's look at how to prove spirits with a hydrometer. Proofing spirits with a hydrometer is a very cost-effective and accurate technique if it's performed correctly. You'll need a calibrated hydrometer, a calibrated thermometer, and a glass container for measuring. Remember, it's very important to use calibrated hydrometers and thermometers when proofing spirits. Many proofing errors occur due to using equipment that has not been calibrated. Calibration assigns a correction factor, which may be a chart that plots the corrected value versus observed proof. The correction factor could be zero, but it must always be determined. For this example, we'll prove a distilled spirit that's approximately 80 proof using a type K proofing hydrometer that ranges from 75 to 95 proof. If your spirits are outside that range, you'll need to obtain a hydrometer that covers the appropriate range. The instructions for selection and proper use of precision hydrometers and thermometers are available in the gauging manual, 27 CFR 30.22 and 30.23. To begin proofing, place the thermometer in the empty vessel and secure with a metal clip. Ensure the glass vessel is rinsed several times with the spirits to bring both the cylinder and thermometer to the same temperature as the spirits. Add spirits for proofing. Be sure to wipe any spirits from the outside of the glass vessel to prevent evaporative cooling. During the readings, protect the vessel from drafts or other conditions that might affect its temperature. Do not place your hands on the cylinder in such a manner as to warm the contents. Insert the hydrometer in the liquid and raise and lower the hydrometer bulb from top to bottom five or six times to obtain an even temperature distribution over its surface. While the hydrometer bulb remains in the liquid, the stems should be dried and the hydrometer allowed to come to rest, wetting only a few millimeters of the exposed stem. Immediately read the hydrometer and thermometer as near simultaneously as possible. Start reading the hydrometer slightly below the plane of surface of the liquid, raising your line of sight slowly and perpendicular to the hydrometer stem until the surface appears to change from an ellipse to a straight line. The point where this line would intersect the hydrometer scale is the correct reading. Be sure to read the hydrometer to the nearest 0.05 degrees proof and the thermometer to the nearest 0.1 degrees Fahrenheit. To verify your results, repeat the test with another sample of the spirits. If necessary, convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and obtain the true proof using Table 1 of the gauging manual. You should average the calculated values if they agree within 0.1 degrees proof. From Table 1, 80 degrees proof at 68 degrees Fahrenheit equals 76.4 degrees proof at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. If your proof reading is exactly 80 and your temperature reading is exactly 68, then the proof at 60 degrees Fahrenheit is 76.4 degrees proof and no interpolation is necessary. For fractional hydrometer and thermometer readings, you must interpolate the true proof from Table 1. Remember the proof of spirits must be reported at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. For questions, comments, or more information on any of the topics in this presentation, refer to the TTB website at ttb.gov spirits proofing.